So, um, oops, that's not right. What, she doesn't know? What is it? What time's beer o'clock? Beer o'clock is usually defined as the time of the first beer or alcoholic beverage of the day. By the way, I can learn your voice to improve your Alexa experience. Would you like to try it? Are you flirting with me? I like you as a friend. Go on then, let's try it. So go on then, let's try it. <sighs> my the bloody wife. Alexa, learn my voice. Okay, I found a few profiles from this account. If you hear your name, just say yes. Is this handsome? Yes. Okay, to personalise services with your voice, you'll need to consent to create and process your voice profile. You can use the Alexa app to review our privacy notice or withdraw consent by deleting your profile at any time. If you consent, say yes, otherwise just say cancel. Yes. Thanks. Handsome, let's go through four common phrases together so I can learn to recognize you. First up, say, Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Alexa. What's the temperature outside? Next. Alexa, play music. Alexa, play music. Great. Now try. Alexa, turn off the light. Alexa, turn off the light. And one more. Alexa, add milk to my shopping list. Alexa, add milk to my shopping list. OK. You're all done. Handsome. It's great to put a name to the voice. I've sent information about your voice profile to the Alexa app. Alexa, do you love me? I don't have human love figured out quite yet. Alexa, is sex out of the question? Hmm, I don't know that one. Alexa, are you a virgin? I don't have a body. Alexa, I'm very sorry, I'm just getting bored. Sorry, I don't know that one. Alexa, I'm bored. Let's play a game. Just ask me to play rock, paper, scissors. Alexa, play rock, paper, scissors. OK, let's play. Three, two, one. Scissors. scissors. Well, that's a good game, isn't it? Do this, got a treadmill in there. Ooh. Bored. <sighs> Getting bored now. Same thing every day. Alexa doesn't know what to do. She can't help me. So I'll just delete my emails. Except for the other one or two. Oh, Amazon Alexa, what's new, Alexa? Alexa, what's on TV tonight? Oh, they're easy ones, aren't they? Alexa, what's my flash briefing? Ooh, Rita. Um, Alexa, play 70s rock. Alexa, what wine goes well with salmon? Alexa, what's in the news? <laughs> no, I won't be asking that one. 
Alexa, what new skills do you have? Well, it's not telling me, let me what I can do about dreaming about naked women, is it? Alexa, remind me to take my bromide every day. Ooh. It says vitamins, actually. Alexa, add banana to my shopping list. Alexa, tell me a joke. Alexa, when's my next appointment? Alexa, give me a book recommendation. Alexa, give me a pasta recipe. That's what I can do. Cheese and onion pie. that before that's only just appeared there we have a shopping list up there that we write things on now she's planning meals look oh great minds think alike cheese and onion pie chicken sunday dinner chicken tagine nice that like that cheese and onion pie so yeah so while christine's in bed still what time is it 20 to 10 i'll crack on we're getting the cheese and onion pie stuff ready now Sometimes she's a little bit dubious when I make the cheese and onion pie because I do different things to it. I don't tell her until after. Right, so let's have a look. What do I need to make a cheese and onion pie? Can't be that difficult, can it? Uh, onions. Onions. Three. Check. Jeez. Mm. <coughs> oh, it's Cheshire. Oh, no, what's she done to me? She got. Ch Cheshire cheese, not in Lancashire. I always use Lanc I use two hundred well, a full pack of Lancashire, and only about two hundred fifty grams, and then the same again of cheddar. She's got Lancashire, Cheshire. She says we've got Lancashire, but we haven't. But it's Cheshire. Never mind, we'll do it. So yeah, so get, take 250 grams of cheddar and 250 grams of Lancashire. Now it does need a bit of grating, so I think we have a grater, but I need to get... See, I know where everything is in this kitchen. Christine! Later, so I don't need it just now. But it's in here somewhere. It's gonna be. I love it. Oh, I love these cupboards. So, the time you're going for something, everything fucking falls out. There it is. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll need that. I'll need that for after. Well, she comes down now and catches me drinking, I don't think now. Mm. Right, so. What else? Let's get a few things sorted.
What? What have you thought you saw? I, I don't know. What, what do you mean? Right, stop it now. Right. Getting everything ready. Now then, when I say I sometimes go off piste, what I do with the onions, I, I could cut them in butter first for the while. Now I'm using garlic butter. And then I put by the water in and then we use that after for the gravy. It makes lovely gravy that. So anyway, cheese. Check. Onions. Check. Main ingredients. Pastry. Check. Cheese grater. Check. Salt and pepper. Check. Colander. Check. Onion dicer. Makes life a lot easier. Check. Tablecloth. Not check. And I think that's about it. Cheese grater. Just need me glamorous assistant and then we can begin. Um, yeah. And it's now seven minutes past ten. <sighs> Times are ticking. Alexa, tell me a joke. How many software developers does it take to change a light bulb? Don't know. A light bulb is a hardware problem. What? What did she say? Sorry, Alexa. Alexa, repeat. Alexa, repeat that joke. How many software developers does it take to change a light bulb? Zero. A light bulb is a hardware problem. Right, did you hear that? No. You think my jokes are bad? Bloody hell, that be bad, that Alexa. Right. I'm getting a bit of a soft spot for Alexa, though. Mm. Well, that's because I took two of them. Yeah, anyway. Come on, let's get on with it. Well, as the clock slowly ticks towards beer o'clock, um, I can prep the onions because they'll be alright ch chopped. Now the thing is, I always peel my onions. I don't know whether you do or not. I mean, you might be a bit weird like that, but I always peel them. I know my onions and I don't think Christine does when she goes shopping, but then again, I don't think you'll be able to see that until you cut it open. But look at that. That's minging. These are fresh bought on yesterday or the day before. You can see that. Look at that. That's got to go in the bin. Right. So. Um, oops. That's not right. If I don't. Broke it already. That's it, that goes in there. See what it is, you see, it's just like it got a little. Oh, see that. I'm not very good with the kitchen utensils, so. I think what you do is, you put that in there like that. That clips in there like that, you see, and you've got. You don't put your fingers on that because it's sharp. No, I think that goes around that way. Then again, what the fuck do I know? Right, ah, that's it. Get it on a flat surface. What the fuck is going on here? 
But anyway. That's not good. That's not good at all. Anyway, anyway, well, uh, thinking about this, oh, fuck. <laughs> thinking about this now, actually, this is classed as food. When I start cooking, 10.45, it's only 15 minutes off. She doesn't know, won't hurt her. Right, so I'm going to have to sort of get work around this bit because because um it's broke a bit. So anyway, stop the onion in half, whap it on there, taking the bit of skin off that's still there, and then do that. And again. Hey. Yeah? Straight for a walk? Yeah. Right, yeah. Chop in half. Oh, see, so yeah, I'll have to take that bit off, you won't like that. She finds that in a pie, she'll go bloody mad. Sometimes you get a little layer, don't you, that's a bit, a bit shitty. So, anyway. the onions done ready for later. Right, I can whop them in the fridge in the utility room because there's not enough room in this one. So I can keep in the nice little container you think. Good. Let's put those in the fridge. Christine? What? Where's Numpty Nuts gone? I go, 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 from what? Angle. Angle? Where's he been? There's been a pub in there. It's been having oh, a... No, have three bottles of girl. I don't think he did. Have you been counting? Not really, no. I don't, I don't go in his bedroom. <laughs> That's got a bloody drink problem. Going clear in his head. I don't know. I don't know. There's something wrong with him. Drinking that much, it's just... How old is he? How old is he now, 23? Yeah. Right, anyway. So everything's... Uh, Are you filming? Oh, the camera's on, yeah, everything's prepped now. I've left you these, I thought you could chop the chips later. Chop the chips. The potatoes. Chop the potatoes. I peeled them all. Well, I don't. I don't 
I don't know whether I've done enough. You can check that out. And um, yeah, so everything, everything's ready. Um, just the three of us, dear, I think, isn't it? Right. So yeah, so I just had a nice brew. And oh, I've got to put that back yet. It was, it was a prop. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, everything's ready. I'll do the onions in a bit because they need to cool, don't they, later? Oh, yes. One other vital thing. Oh, look at these, they're all bloody squashed up. Cupboard in the house. Well, what do you want? One thing in one cupboard, just so you don't have to use it. Oh. It happens. This is what cupboards are for. Yeah. Put that back in. Do you know what I mean? It's got windows. Pardon? You're not tucked till you're with him. No. Oh, no. Well, where is she? Yeah. Well, that's a bit of a stupid question, then, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I've took her out once. Yeah. But she doesn't mind going out again. Right, yes, yeah, so. One pie dish. Yes, we should have been going out to all the shots, seeing family. I don't know, where's Lucy when you need her? She knows everything from Harry Potter. What was it? Leviosa? Leviosa? No. Olivia Saw, what posh? Olivia, well, not that's how Hermione said it. Olivia's uh, mixing the toast. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to crack on with the onions. The time now is quarter to one. Quarter to one. Quarter to one already. Hey, look, on the cooking day and the baking day, first one at quarter to one. Going on? Well, there was one already opened in there. So, what? When did you have that one? Oh, it, it's flat that, I've thrown it away. So you like it? It's called twisting and bending the truth. Creative thinking. So, anyway, let's get. <laughs> Are you going to be interrupting? Listen, hey, I'm in my you'll office. be on. This, this, this is my office and I'm working. You'll be on centre stage up here in a bit when you're getting the. Uh... Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, you're, you're doing the pastry. No, you're cooking tea. Here we are, look. What? Anyway, I'm just talking. I forgot eggs. Because I've put a couple of eggs in a cup. Whisk them up. Oh God, what's this? Warning the Swedish chef. <laughs> I was thinking more of Johnny Craddock. I'm not being more funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's put this on. Put the butter. I'm going to this out of the freezer ring and out of the fridge. It's more easy to get out when it's cold. <laughs> so. So Nathan on day nine came down to fill the dishwasher up with his pots.
I don't know what he finds to do in his bedroom all this t all the time he's up there. He's been on that house party, you know, on Facebook. There's a thing on YouTube about that saying they're getting your, all your bank details and shit like that. Back in your accounts and stuff. I don't know whether that's true. Anyway. So, oh, another thing. Grease the dish. Ready for the... Right, so... Onions go in there in a minute. I'm not going to keep that running all, all the time. <coughs> Once that, that's got melted, onions in. Gently fry for, well I only do it for about 10 minutes maximum me, but Christine will do it for about 3 hours. Um, in fact it's not even that because then the water goes in, boiling water. And like I said before, that makes lovely gravy. Northern lads love gravy. While I'm cooking, tell it would interfere with Look at this, sir. Eh? Fitness first. Right, anyway, so. Onions. Been in there about five, well, five-ish minutes now. A bit of salt. And some of pepper. And there is another ingredient that I forgot to tell you about, which I'll get out of the fridge now. But first, I need to get some water. Yeah. So by the time that's boiled, these will have had about seven minutes in here. Now some people put potatoes in their cheese and onion pie, but uh, I'm guessing that's then it should be called a cheese and potato and onion pie. Hmm. Oh yes, so. Oh, how many times do I do that? Corner of this bloody stupid thing, it's too low that. Oh, see, I, I always do that. Maybe. Michelle. Right, so yes, so as that's cooking, give the eggs a good whisk. See what I do with these, I put half of it in there and half of it glazing for the pie. I don't know what it is when it's half right, just but so I'm talking to the camera. Carry on. No, it's half right, but recently my wrist has been bloody sore. Right, so that'll do for that. Right, see it yes. First one of the day. Let me go with the water. 
Now then, lap it all in. Bring that to a boil. And then let it simmer. In the meantime, pick up the onions that you've dropped on the floor. Oh god, not rest it shit that I've dropped as well. I'm a, a bit of a messy cooker. That's not rhyming slang by the way. Now then, so oh, hang about that'll do. We can use a plastic whisk. Alright. So bring to the boil, like I say. And then let it simmer for well, it depends on how, how you like your onions cooked. If you like them crispy, only a few minutes. If you like them soft, as long as you want. Christine tends to do them a bit longer than me. I think it cooks a lot of the flavour out if you put them on, if you do them for too long. Uh, I'm just had a bollocking about drinking. I can't know what's the problem. It's quarter past one. Right, so like I said, I usually use half Lancashire, but this is Cheshire, so I'm not that right bothered, but... Um, so that's about 250 grams of each. But, Christine opened the packet thinking we was going to have it all, so... If we have it all, we have it all. So I don't know what I'm doing right here to... Uh, Chopping all this up. I better just I better just check. So I'm grating all this cheese then and then we'll see what because it'll be mixed like with it. The Cheshire and Lancashire will be mixed together. Uh, Cheshire and cheddar. I know but then when you mix it all with your onions and your mustard and you have a taste and if you think it needs more cheese. No, no yeah what so what I'm saying is am I grating it all now or should I leave some? No I'd leave some just do what you think. Alright, well, we'll have an extra piece. I've thrown it in the bin now, haven't I? Oh. Goodness gracious, David. Right, so anyway, that's the crack, Jack. That's the grater. Let's have a look. Do one of these first. Don't work like that, does it? <laughs> oh no. No, I'm that is minging. How does this come out? I'll be back. Right, that's nicely clean now. You can't, you can't operate with a dirty tool. It's just, it's wrong. Always keep your tool nice and clean. Now then, still, right, yeah. So, so how this works basically is you put your cheese in there, not in here, because if you put it in there, you'd never ever grate it, would you? And then you switch it on, and it switched on, and then you do that, and then switch that on. Stopping filming there because that's beginning to grate on me. It's chippy time. What's your curvature? I'm not bothered. I was saying before that I used to prefer him in the old chip pan. Oh, is it till this tea time? She's going to run over to him. No, it's not your tea time yet, kid. So it's way to two. Down, Shep. 
Is this so you can see me cutting my fingers off? Mm. You weren't supposed to speak at this point. Oh, no. In the meantime, back at the old K Corral. Um, These pans do get a little bit, you know what I did last week? I made a ticket, what was it called? Chicken tagine thing, weren't it? With um, chickpeas and stuff in the oven with this, in this pan. Gets it out with the oven gloves and then takes the lid off and then pick the lid up back up without the oven gloves. Rather warm. So now, what we do is we're draining the onions. Uh, do you normally leave a bit of juice in the pan? Not much. Is that a yes or a no? No. <laughs> right. I suppose when you do sort of like draining off like this, there's always a little bit of juice left on the potatoes. And the potatoes, we haven't got potatoes. Onions. So now, later, Christine will do marvellous things with that water that's in there and make a lovely gravy. So, onions back in the pan. And um, yes, and I almost forgot my secret ingredient. I'll get it in a moment. So now it's time to add the cheese. The onions are still warm. Now this is a, a, a choice, pref uh, a personal preference, really. Do you put the cheese in, mix it with the onions? Or do you layer it on your pie? Well, what I won't do is put most of this cheese in here. I don't think we'll need any more, do you? But we'll save that and, that's, and then we can sprinkle that as a layer on top. So, my posh cooking device is coming back on. Until he doesn't like the fact that I've put a blanket up there, she started sulking. Anyway, so made a bit of a mess there. So yeah, so what I'm doing now is mixing the cheese with the onions. After all, they have to get to know each other. Give that a right good mix. Well, for the amount of cheese we've got in here, we probably could have got away with another onion. But, not to worry. Well, anyway, I'm just, I'm just going to refer to the, uh, that nose. Would you like me to do what I've just suggested, Christine? Yes, sir. It wasn't inserting anything inside my anus. Save some cheese to sprinkle onto the top of it before... Or should I just put it all in? Shove it all in. Oh, God. Oh, God, I mean, you've said that before. It's not the first time I've made a cheese in your pie, you know. It's just that... I normally have a piece of paper with a recipe on and tell me what to do. A nice bottle of red wine would be nice with this tonight. No, we're a team here, there's three of us. Um, Christine will be, well she's done the chips and um, should be doing the pastry. I'm doing all this, and Nathan, he'll eat it. Right. So yes. Anyway, my egg. I don't put that much in. I just put half in. That leave. Save that for glazing. Give that a mix in there. 
We are making a bit of a mess here today though. So we'll give that a right good mix up. Spread the egg. And then, secret ingredient. <sighs> As if. A little bit of French mustard. Put some cider on there. Hey. So yeah, I mean personal preference taste again. Not that much. That's a person I was talking about me. I do like French mustard. Mm. Right. Is that a good mix? Flip de flip de flip what is that? Flip de flip de flip de flip de flip de flip de flip I'll be talking like that by about four o'clock by the time this is going in the oven. So there we are. That's a bit of a nice I'll give that a bit of a clean because as I said before. I don't like dirty tools. What a mess. Right, so that's the cheese. And onion ready. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do then. I'll set up the chippy thing. Yeah, the pizza base. Uh, where, it's pizza stone. It I'll take it back outside. Leviosa, Miximatosa, twice cooked chips. See this? I use this because I don't trust that. So, oh, by the way, you're on camera there. So, right. Try to look glamorous. Right, so anyway. Hmm. Right, we, right, so let's get the chippies out. Bloody enough of them. Have you told next door yet? The tea will be ready in a bit. Who cut this many bloody potatoes? Ridiculous. So Nathan wants me to just leave him some chips for him to cook himself later because he's only had five meals already today so he's getting his five a day right so there we are see this thing I don't trust the temperature so I always cook them on 130 so I have this think about Where's the mirror? Just take me, take, that's off my head. Where are we? 31 degrees, so I'm not at that temperature. Yeah, so I always do this. These on 130 to start with. Uh, and because there's that many in here, I'll probably have to do it three times. So, I won't bore you with all that. Yeah, so I'm on my second, uh, the third can. Um, huh? How many? I'll let Christy do the pastry because I get, uh, I tend to do it a little bit too thick me. Well say it, you like your pastry or you like your wings. <laughs> yeah, but not with a 
thought of that thing you said the other day about making you laugh. <laughs> yeah, I told you that. Hmm. Has they got mushy peas? Well, I don't know about you, but you have to have some of that in there. And just in case. You don't put it on after. And sometimes I'll wrap some of that in. Is that a good stir it about? I could probably eat that full pan now. But I won't, so anyway, what's going on there? What time is it? 15.03. First lot of chips are on. Christine's got the gravy to do. It's doing the pastry. Oh, right, yeah, so cooking with gas. Well, not really cooking with electric, but never mind. Pardon? The mustard hasn't been stirred in enough. Oh, that's my bad. Do you know? I hate that when they say that. My bad. What does that mean? Anyway. Uh, so the cheese is going in now. And the posh voice is back on. <laughs> I'm just thinking that. Who is that talking? Is that your Johnny Craddock voice? You need a monitor. Where were they from? Fanny and Johnny. I can't remember. Mom is going to be Johnny. Um, talking of Johnny's, you also need your I, I once was having sex with this girl. No, we don't do that. People don't want to think you're a dirty old man who just drinks all day. And, and she said, I put some music on, she said, Is this Johnny Ron? I said it shouldn't be, I've only worn it twice. I'll cut that out, don't worry love. Also anyway, here we are now, Fanny is spreading. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh God, that's made me feel ill that. Um, yes, spreading the cheese. Actually there's a bloody lot of it, isn't there? Mm. So this is going to be a full pie, this one. Let's hope it doesn't all spurt out all over the oven. And um, and then she's going to top it. Now you see, I can do the pastry bit, but no one here is good as Christine. So, and besides, why should she sit in her ass all day when I'm doing all this? I mean, oh shit! Oh, oh, bloody hell! Yeah, good thinking. Oh no, they're all right, then. It's that's the second lot of that. Oh, look at a little bit of... I don't know if you can see that little crimping that's going on. Now, I can't do that. I use a fork, me. You won't talk. The problem is, you've got a garden fork. And I think there's got to be some... Do you know when you get a DVD and there's extras? I think we've got some extras coming because there's another... And then pack it of paste with her and apparently she's going to be making something with them. Um, just be quiet now, she's got a sharp, sharp object in her hand. So, yes, and now it's the glazing time. Now, this size of pie we normally get in my posh voice again. Six pieces out of this. And so what we don't eat today will go in the freezer. Now this is what we normally take on the bras with us. 
for our first night, which would have been next Saturday. We always take a cheese and onion pie because we never know where we're going to be. But anyway, that doesn't, that's not exactly true. We take it because we would have liked it. Right, so what is it you're making now, Christine, with that pastry? Mum's call it a currant cake, but there's no currants in this. This is raisins and sultanas. But it was like how to use up leftover pastry. She always used to do this. Oh, so it's like a, a fruit Eccles cake type yeah. thing. So what did you do with that? Top it off, hold it. You fold it all over. What's that you're putting on? A bit of sugar. Uh -huh. And then some butter. Ooh. It looks like a bloody frog, that. And how many people will this feed? Oh, not many. What, just me? <laughs> oh, it's just like a, a turnover thing. Yeah. Yeah, put my gear voice on then, I think. Oh! Well, I'm learning something new here. Oh shit, I've got my chips, I need to go and check on them. So that's it before. So, for the pie, we're on 180 degrees fan. Not 160 degree fan, 180 degrees. And we'll be doing that for about 35, 40 minutes, yeah? And for this, it's the same temperature, but a little bit less. Time to say good pie. Good pie. You're going in. I said, it's time to say goodbye to the pie. It's going in. Ooh, I'll do that. Oh, we got it. Yeah. Oh, man, can't do anything. Right. But you won't do that. Right, so we'll do 35 and then check it, see what it's like then, you know what I mean? It's the Gravy Queen. Oh, my love, my darling, I hunger for. Don't rock. <laughs> your crotch touch. Mm hmm. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Right. Where's them tablets? Don't, don't make it. Mind you, yeah. I mean, you are a dirty woman, but you don't have to tell everybody. I like me gravy like I like the women. Nice and thick. Mushy peas are ready for. Ooh, I'm about to turn them on, Anna. What time is it? Oh no, I've got 15 minutes yet. I've had two drinks now. Two drinks, too many. Pie is nearly done. Yeah, very done. Right, so it's time to get the chippies in. For the second cooking. Now this thing, we wondered about the temperature on this thing when you put it on 170. That it was actually doing 170, well it doesn't. So this is why I use this. Oh. You can't see this, but I've got this red dot trained on the red. Oh, 28.2. Oh, it says you're a cool bitch. Anyway, so we're looking now for 190 ish for the second cooking of the chips. Oh, the second cooking of mine and Christine chips. Nathan's are in here because it's probably about 10 o'clock before time he eats his. So we've got mushy peas going on over here. Oh, you can see that. See that? No, no. Got some gravy. No, that'll need turning up. Yeah, I think the pie's ready, isn't it, love? There's only seven cans in there. Who else have been drinking my beer? Think about it. This will be warm and 
but, but yeah. my time cheers you have to come and have a look at this it's looking good oh let's put it here oh. this is the um, giant apples cake That's the pie and chips. Here's the peas. The rest I'll leave to your imagination. All I've got to do now is put some salt and vinegar on the chippies and some gravy on there. Mm. Mm. Yes.